chair and we're not in the clear in the ways of the wind. We thought it was a little calmer, but don't think too soon. We're still expecting windy conditions overnight into the morning hours. This is a great shot illustrating the windy conditions. You'll see the camera shaking around in the wind. There's the Ferris wheel and right behind the Ferris wheel. We've got the American flag blowing in the wind just to demonstrate that it is that windy out there. In fact, speaking of Santa Monica, we're debuting our weather network. These are live reporting stations all across Southern California. So the KCAL 9 weather network showing you Crossroads School in Santa Monica currently at 74 degrees with wind gusts at 16 miles an hour as we head over to Mesa View Middle School in Huntington 73 currently 14 mile an hour wind gusts the Dodger Stadium 78 degrees 14 mile an hour wind gusts and taking you to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks currently 73 with 18 mile an hour wind gusts more on the wind your weekend forecast and your Halloween forecast that's all coming up in just a bit back to you stocking up there yeah, of course. well um, Evelyn's been watching Sandy where is it now and uh, is it headed close to it's the East Coast right headed now a little closer it looks like Tuesday into Wednesday are gonna be the uh -huh. big days at this point and again forecast models they're not completely all over the place they're starting to agree a little bit so it is really starting to pan out which is a scary thing for the East Coast spots uh, sitting right here so the combination of the two is what's making this a very massive storm. But again, Sandy is currently uh, turning at about 75 miles an hour to the north at seven miles an hour. So moving pretty slowly at this point. We're going to switch gears here and take us to our forecast. Take it to our forecast here in Southern California. You'll see several wind advisories in store until about one o'clock and that's one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So spots like Anaheim, Irvine, Riverside, all affected by this advisory. Fire weather warning, we're not in the clear. We're still looking at very dry conditions, very windy conditions as well. You'll see this stays in effect through six o'clock for spots in Orange County in the IE, other spots expiring a little sooner. But all in all, we are looking at another critical fire day on our hands as we head into tomorrow. Let's go look at current wind speeds. You'll see Santa Clarita at 16 miles an hour, sustained at 16. Everybody else in the single digits at this point. So you'll see things are getting just a little calmer for us as we speak. And a closer look at what we're dealing with in Santa Clarita right there. You'll see the yellow and the orange on your screen indicating the windiest spot spanning all the way from the Santa Clarita Valley to the coast. But again, much calmer than what we were used to just the night before. You'll see as we head into the morning hours tomorrow, winds will continue to pick up. We're not in the clear, even though it does seem calmer. We're not done with the wind. We're not done with the warm temperatures or the low humidities. 25 miles an hour in Santa Clarita by the time we hit the one o'clock hour. And by five o'clock in the evening, everybody looking a little calmer, with the exception of Riverside up at about 15 miles an hour as we head into tomorrow. Nine o'clock tomorrow night, already starting to look a little nicer for us, a little calmer, and keeping things calmer as we head into the second part of our weekend into next week. Let's get a look at that five day forecast for the valleys in the Inland Empire 80s and staying that way through your Tuesday and then on Wednesday there's maybe a chance of a shower, not a huge chance. We're just putting it in there just so we're prepared, but that chance looks like it's going to stay to our north, but there's a chance we could get a few showers here. We're going to continue to track that chance for you as we move through the week. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right, Evelyn. It wasn't as windy, but we can't let our guard down quite yet because we're still looking at windy conditions on the way into the overnight hours into tomorrow as well. We still have wind advisories and we do still have red flag warnings in store. So we're going to go through those in just a minute. Uh, we're debuting our KCAL 9 weather network live reporting stations all across the Southland. So hopefully we're going to have your neighborhood in here right now. We do want to check in with Arcadia High School in Arcadia where it's currently 70 degrees, humidity a little lower at 27% and wind gusts coming in at 10 miles an hour, of course, dry at this point. As we get a look at your watches and warnings, we've got a red flag warning in effect for the majority of the Southland as we head into tomorrow. Uh, some of these warnings actually lasting through the evening hours, some through the afternoon. You'll see Orange County and the IE affected until the evening hours. Cities like Anaheim, Irvine, Riverside, and Santa Ana all under this warning. We also have wind advisories to speak of still in effect, staying in effect through tomorrow for parts of the IE, for some of our valleys, the mountains, even Orange County as well. You're going to see cities like Anaheim, Irvine, Riverside and yes, Santa Ana as well also affected through the afternoon hours. Wind wise right now we're at 16 miles an hour in Santa Clarita. That's our windiest spot through Castaic 17 miles an hour. Simi at 20. Again, these are your sustained wind speeds, not your gusts in Malibu coming in at 17 miles an hour. Speaking of gusts though, in the last 24 hours, we got up to 45 miles an hour in Malibu Hills. Fullerton 33, the Newhall Pass at 49. Leo Carrillo Beach 42 miles an hour. Laguna Peak in Ventura County, very impressive 69 mile an hour wind gusts in Simi 
at 41. We'll have the rest of your weekend forecast and your Halloween forecast. That's all coming up in a bit. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Oh, so you I just drove out Rick, here on the set now. You're going to have to bring in a picture and we're going to have to feature it. Really? That. Was there a hairnet around the <laughs> This was at Joe Walker Junior High, if you can believe that. Okay. Very cool. In the Santa wow. Clarita Valley or Antelope Valley? Mm -hmm. Antelope, Antelope Valley. Valley. Yeah, Antelope Valley. All right. Isn't that something? Very cool. We'll have to get our hands on those pictures out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Definitely. We'll and the bobby Lori. pins in the hair, you know, it's a good idea right now. It's windy, so <laughs> it works for that, too. Thanks, Rick. Great idea. All right, we're going to take you outside right now. We're taking you to Long Beach, and as we do, you're going to see clear conditions. Looks calm in this shop, but the winds are expected to pick up into the overnight hours at 70 degrees right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. There's a look at Avalon right behind you on Catalina. Red flag warnings in effect, wind advisories in effect, and we are still looking at gusty offshore winds and it is warm and it's certainly dry out there as well. As a result, we've got wind advisories in effect through tomorrow afternoon. You're going to see for spots like Anaheim, Irvine, Riverside, also Santa Ana, but pretty much the entire Southland and the mountains right there affected out to the Orange County coastline. We've got a fire weather warning in effect for the majority of the Southland as well. And as a result, we're looking at very warm, dry, windy conditions. In fact, that's actually resulting in the fire weather warning. Some spots we're looking at that staying through about 6 o'clock in the evening, other spots a little earlier in the afternoon, but regardless, we're still on the lookout for tomorrow. Take a look. Currently, wind speeds at 16 miles an hour in Santa Clarita, 9 for Riverside, 5 for downtown, 7 for Long Beach. And as we head through our wind forecast here, just want to show you that things will continue to pick up into the overnight hours. Santa Clarita coming in at 19 miles an hour as we head into the early morning hours. One of our windiest spots, Riverside, starting to pick up at 11 miles an hour. Remember, these are your sustained wind speeds, so your wind gusts are even higher than that late morning tomorrow it's getting windier and it's staying windy through the two o'clock hour a little later in the evening it's starting to calm down a little bit but spots like the grapevine passes canyons and spots like the santa clarita valley still affected by five o'clock in the evening nine o'clock tomorrow night already much calmer and continuing to calm down as we head into the rest of your weekend and as we head into next week we still could get a little bit of residual wind by your sunday but we're pretty much done with the santa ana event by your Saturday. Over the last 24 hours, pretty impressive wind gusts. Leo Carrillo Beach coming in at 42 miles an hour. Simi Valley at 41 miles an hour. So remember, we're not in the clear. High pressure is still setting up over Southern California. And as a result, those clockwise winds that are rotating around that high, bringing us dry conditions, warm conditions. And as the wind comes down off the mountaintops, it compresses. It's called compressional heating, and that's what's creating the dry and the warm conditions as well. For the valleys in the Inland Empire, 80s turning to 70s. And for the base in Orange County, 80s turning to 70s with just a slight chance of rain by Wednesday. I know, but very slight, just to our north at this okay. point. But mm. we're putting in there just in case because Halloween's important. Yeah. So we right. want to make sure we get that out to you. Actually, uh, Sylvia, we were talking about Sandy, so that's going to be coming up in a little bit. Uh, but we are dealing with weather of our own here at home. We're looking at red flag warning. We're looking at wind advisories still in effect as well. So we're going to get to those advisories in a minute. We're taking you outside to our Catalina camera, a gorgeous shot for us, even windy out on Avalon this evening, and that's going to continue to be the case into the overnight hours. We're debuting our KCAL 9 weather network. We've got several live reporting spots all across the Southland, and here are just a few of them. We're getting numbers in from La Cañada Elementary School, La Cañada Flint Ridge, currently at 68 degrees with wind gusts coming in at 15 miles an hour. Crossroads School in Santa Monica, 73 degrees with 16 mile an hour wind gusts coming in. Mesa View Middle School, Huntington Beach, 67 degrees with 14 mile an hour wind gusts coming in. And finally checking in with Notre Dame, that's Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks right here in the valley, 71 degrees. And you're going to see wind gusts coming in at 18 miles an hour. So we got some pretty impressive gusts earlier today. We're not out of the woods yet, even though it is calmer. We're still expecting windy conditions overnight into the morning hours as well in the afternoon. In fact, we've got red flag warnings all across the Southland. Some warnings even lasting through 6 o'clock. That's going to be for the Orange County area and for the IE as well. And we also have several wind advisories that are going to be lasting through tomorrow afternoon. This includes cities like Anaheim, Irvine, Riverside, and Santa Ana as well. So again, we're not in the clear, even though it is definitely calmer than it was 
this time last night. We still have 17 mile an hour sustained winds coming in in Santa Clarita. You're going to see along the coast Santa Monica at 10 miles an hour. Oxnard along the Ventura County coastline coming in at about 7 miles an hour. And a closer look at the wind prone areas. You're going to see right here Calabasas at 18 miles an hour. In through Castaic right there. Castaic jun Junction rather. 18 mile an hour sustained winds right now. You'll see peak wind gusts over the last 24 hours. Pretty impressive. Newhall Pass at 49 miles an hour. Leo Carrillo at the beach right there, 42 miles an hour. And Laguna Peak at 69, checking in with Orange County Fullerton at 33 miles an hour earlier today. We'll have the rest of your weekend forecast and, of course, your Halloween forecast. That's all coming up in a little bit. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. I think we've all been sort of scrambling to figure it out with everybody back there at this point. And it does look like Sandy could take a couple tracks at this point. We're going to show you the track uh, that we're forecasting right now. As we get a look at her tropical satellite, you're going to see Sandy continuing to move north. And you will see as we get a look at Hurricane Tracker that it's moving north at about 7 miles an hour and it's going about 75 miles an hour. It's still a Category 1 storm. So there's two things that could happen in this scenario. At this point, it looks like it is turning into Delaware, but it could continue north and turn into New York. So that's another possibility at this point. If that were to happen, we could get 10 inches of rain in Manhattan alone. You'll see right here, though, again, Sandy potentially making its way right here into Washington, Virginia, Delaware, but could make its way into New York. But pretty much everybody along the eastern seaboard will be affected. Remember, Sandy is combining with this low right here and the combination of the low and the hurricane making for this potential huge storm. We will continue to track Sandy for you as we move through the next few days here. We're going to know more about its path in the next 24 hours. The closer we get, of course, the more accurate the models become. As we get a look at our local forecast here, we're getting a look at our weather headlines, and you'll see Catalina right behind us in the shot. Catalina getting plenty of wind as well. Red flag warnings, wind advisories, gusty offshore winds, and warm and dry conditions lasting through at least tomorrow. You'll see wind advisories in store through tomorrow afternoon. We're also looking at a red flag warning that's in store for the majority of the Southland till at least tomorrow evening for a lot of spots like the IE in Orange County, other spots expiring around the afternoon hour. So we still have a little ways to go before things really start to calm down and cool down. You'll see for the valleys in the Inland Empire, 80s and staying in the 80s through your Monday, a little cooler by your Tuesday and just a very slight chance of a shower by Wednesday. We're putting it in there because, of course, it is Halloween. We do want to know the forecast and just want to mention there's a chance of rain to our north, so that could transpire and we could see a shower here at home, but at this point it is looking mostly dry. Upper 80s turning to 70s, mid 70s by Halloween night. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. Oh, and temperatures still warm and the wind still whipping up around the Southland. We'll have your windy weekend forecast coming up. Okay, well, here we go into a weekend, another Southern California weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm, the dry conditions. Exactly. And, yeah. yeah, it's it's dry, it's windy, and mm. it seemed like we were in the clear. So I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, we're done, and it's calm, and this is no, great. Not. But we need to stress, that's not the case. <laughs> it's still windy out there. It's still going to get windier. We're still looking at several advisories. We're still looking at several warnings. 70 degrees, that's right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City, so a warm night out there as well. You'll see that wind advisory in effect through tomorrow afternoon for our local mountains, also for the IE and for Orange County as well. You'll see spots like Anaheim, Irvine, Riverside, and Santa Ana all affected. Your watches and your warnings right here, your fire weather warnings, that's staying in effect through 6 o'clock tomorrow evening for spots like Anaheim, Irvine, Riverside, Santa Ana, so yes, the IE, the mountains, Orange County as well. Other spots just looking at the warning in effect through tomorrow afternoon, but regardless, we're still looking at very warm, windy, and dry conditions across the entire Southland as we head into tomorrow. A closer look at the winds right here, 17 mile an hour sustained winds for Santa Clarita, 11 for Santa Monica, 4 for Long Beach, for Riverside and that's currently you'll see current temperatures uh, actually pretty warm right now. The offshore conditions keeping things very warm, very dry as well. 72 in Pasadena, 76 in Anaheim and 75 in Laguna Beach. Earlier today we made it to 85 in downtown. Average is 77 record numbers. 95. We didn't get anywhere too close to that. And over the next 24 hours, we're expecting 60s, 70s, and flirting with the 90s. That's going to be for downtown. Riverside 91, Irvine 90, 
and Oxnard, even up the coast, still very warm, getting up to 83 degrees. For the basin in Orange County, 80s turning to 70s. For the mountains, 60s all week long with just a slight chance of a shower, not in the mountains, but maybe for the metro area by your Halloween. We'll have more on that coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Back to you. At this point, they are continuing at least through tomorrow. Rick and Sharon, take a look right here. The flag blowing in the wind behind the Ferris wheel in Santa Monica. You'll see that while well, the camera's shaking a little bit, you'll see the wind blowing, so really indicating that it is windy out there. We're going to have current wind speeds for you in a minute. We actually want to refocus your attention to the east coast where we are tracking uh, Hurricane Sandy. You'll see a tropical satellite showing you eventually making its way up the coast. At this point, there's two scenarios we're looking at. Could make a direct hit in Delaware or could move north a little more and make a direct hit in New York. So that's something that we're really bracing for at this point. Again, Sandy is combining with this low right here to make a monstrous storm. Sandy is moving to the north at seven miles an hour, tracking winds at about 75 miles an hour. We're going to continue to update you on Sandy, but for now we're updating you on our local forecast and the wind as we were just discussing. We've got wind advisories in effect through tomorrow afternoon across most of the Southland and same thing with that fire weather warning in effect through tomorrow evening for Orange County in the IE. Other spots in effect through the afternoon. Regardless, we are looking at windy conditions, warm conditions, and dry conditions as well. Currently, 17 mile an hour sustained winds in Santa Clarita, five in Lancaster, Little Calmer, eight in Burbank, and temperature wise, we're quite warm. We're at 71 in Pasadena, 75 in Anaheim, and 75 right now in Laguna Beach as those offshore conditions are keeping things warm even to the overnight hours. 85 earlier today in downtown, average is 77. Over the next 24 hours, wind is still a factor, and we're topping out near 90. That's going to be for the basin. You'll see for the basin in Orange County near 90, moving into the 70s. And by your Halloween, just a slight chance of a shower, mainly to our north. But we are just putting that question mark in the forecast at this point. Cooler for you as well. For the valleys in the Inland Empire, 80s turning to 70s. For the coast, 80s also turning to the 70s and 60s. And for the mountains, 60s across the board. Rick and Sharon, back to you.